Listen, uh, it's it's cloudy, it's murky, some of the rafters are caving in in the mine. I see one guy out there with a flashlight on our side that I can trust because he's equipped to deal with anything. He's smarter than Obama, smarter than all of them. I don't know what part he's going to play, but this Paul Ryan's got his bag packed, right? He understands all of this and is able to elaborate on it in a drop of a hat, right? Well, I'd like to think so, but then how come he voted for Medicare Part D and added $20 trillion onto the unfunded liabilities problem? I mean, I, I, I'm not satisfied with people who can give a pretty speech. You know, been there, done that. I want to know, what's your plan? I don't, I don't want to know what your plan for the next 10 years is. Boy, you sent a chill up my spine. I was, uh, you, you sent a chill up my spine. I was banking on him to have the answers. Do you see anybody who has the answers? No, I think the Pauls have. I mean, you know, Rand has got a uh, $500 billion cut proposal for the first year. Well, that's great. I want to know, what is your proposal for right now? I don't care what your proposal for nine years from now is. Mm -hmm. We can't control those people. What do you want to do right now? And he at least had, and even then, $500 billion is only one-third of the problem. Right, right. Well, you were down at CPAC, and his old man won the straw ballot there. What do you make of, uh, I, I can hear you're, you're fond of Rand. What do you make of uh, Ronnie? I, I like him, too, and I, I love the, the complaint that, uh, well, we can't take the straw poll seriously because he inspired all those people to come vote for him. Well, isn't that kind of the point of a poll? I mean, <laughs> well, I like counterintuitive guys, and I think we've stumbled onto another one here, Thomas Woods, because I've come wading in here with a few things I believe, and I just love. Uh, you see, I don't get freaked out when people tell me that makes me want to go read more about the Paul boys, and I've got to start figuring this thing out because this is serious time. I like guys who tweak my intellect and take some of my preconceptions and say, I'm not sure about that, Dennis. Look at this. Book is rollback. I will be reading it. Repealing big government before the uh, coming fiscal collapse. And thanks for agitating my melon today, Tommy. I dig it. Anytime, Dennis. Thank you. All right. Good to talk to you. Thomas Woods.